A big cleanup effort is underway here at Jordan's Zatari camp, home to about 80,000 Syrian refugees. With help from Oxfam, they launched a recycling program to offer sustainable solutions and suitable employment to address the camp's massive waste problem. In the beginning of 2015, Oxfam submitted a pilot recycling project aimed at alleviating the problem of garbage management and provide Syrian refugees with job opportunities to generate money. Oxfam managed to expand this project to cover all parts of the camp. But the project hit roadblocks. One refugee who previously worked in waste management in Syria said participants were receiving very little help or guidance. We faced a lot of problems in the beginning of the project. There were no machines and no support of any sort. After three months, we were told that the project would stop. After just three months, the project seemed doomed. But in 2017, Oxfam launched a public information campaign asking refugees to separate wet and dry waste. We work, we sell, and we take our salaries from the proceeds. We were working without any support for a whole year, without salaries, with nothing. Thank God our project succeeded. Workers collected trash and processed it in a waste management center inside the camp. To be honest, garbage was always left in the streets. You would see garbage wherever you go. Now they make use of the trash. Better still, the recycled waste has become a source of income for people who desperately need it. With over a million Syrian refugees living in Jordan, more than 90% of whom live on less than $88 a month, the program offers a sustainable solution to the growing mounds of trash that litter these camps and economic incentives for people who see few opportunities. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.